So what does going gray mean to me? And for some reason, this has really been on my mind lately, and I think that I have an answer, and I want to share it with you because it seems that so many women think that as soon as you have gray hair or you let the gray show or you, you know, whatever you're doing with your gray hair, that gray equals old. Gray equals you're heading toward the older years, the end of life. You're headed toward the end. Everything is downhill once you go gray. That seems to really be the mentality of people around me. And I actually think the opposite, y'all. Everybody in this world is getting older every single day. And for me, the gray hair seems to signify the exact opposite of what everybody around me thinks. But I've been asking myself, what does the gray hair mean to me? Why, at the age of 48, did I really decide to go gray? Looking back now that I'm a year into my gray hair transition, I realized that when I was younger and I was coloring my hair, that was a certain period of my life. I got married, I had two children, two daughters, I had, you know, bought a house. I did all of those things, the family obligations, the cooking dinner, the keeping the house clean, getting the girls where they needed to go, to cheerleading, to theater, to school, like all of those family obligations. And I also, during those years, had a job for 23 years. I sat at a desk. I worked Monday through Friday, eight to five, stayed on a routine, um, had a good income, had the health insurance to provide for the family. I did all of those things. I led a very responsible and sensible life. And in the past three or four years, I have really noticed a huge shift in my mindset and a lot of changes have taken place in my life. I started my own business three years ago. I left my job of 23 years and went out and started my own business. And Craving the Curls rolled ice cream. You all know it. That's what I do. So I built that brand from the ground up. So basically now I work when I want, where I want, how I want. It is all on me. My oldest daughter is now a junior in college, so she's no longer at home. And this is actually her bedroom. I thought this was a good place to film this video. So this is Kendall's bedroom. Um, and again, she's a junior in college, so she's been gone for two and a half years. And then Brecken, my youngest daughter, is a senior in high school. So in a year from now, both of my girls will be gone from the house. I don't have all of those family responsibilities. Yeah, I can clean my house if I want to, but if I don't want to, who really cares? Uh, I still cook dinner because I love to cook. I take, you know, cook for Randy and I, uh, but I don't have the girls. I don't have their schedules. I don't have to be somewhere that I don't want to be, and I don't have to do anything that I don't want to do. I've really been able to look ahead and see what my life can look like five and 10 years from now. And I have so much more freedom and so many things that I want to do. Randy and I have big plans. We've been planning for probably 10 years to do something when the girls are no longer living at the house. And so this time next year, we will be heading off to a huge adventure, something I'm so excited about. We have, I, I can't tell you what it is. I will share it with you when the time comes, but it is something that we have planned and talked about and saved and just, it is my life stream. And so we are gonna go off onto this huge adventure a year from now. But thinking back to my question, what does the gray hair mean to me? I really feel like it's like a rebirth of me it is a coming out or a 
a blooming of this beautiful flower that was always there, but the flower couldn't bloom because I had all of these things that I had to take care of. And now that I don't have so much on my, well, that's not true, I have a lot on my plate, but now that I don't have all of those obligations, I can really come out and just be me and be who I want to be and live the life that I truly want to live. There's a lot of stuff that is just kind of marked off of my responsibility checklist now that I'm older. But it's like so many women around me assume that once you have gray hair, you are old. And old means it's the end of things. You don't have things to look forward to. You're not gonna have an adventure. You don't have plans. It just means, I don't know what they think old means, but old people assume that old means you're nearing the end. There is nothing else great for you once you get old. And I am here to say, I absolutely think the opposite. That is not true. I am so excited about life ahead of me and all of the things that I have planned, all of the adventures that I get to go on with Randy, the things that I get to experience with my girls. There is so much life ahead of me. And this gray hair, y'all, this transformation that I have gone through and am still going through has just brought out the confidence in me. It has shown me how strong I am. And it's just the beginning of so many new things. It really is marking the beginning of a new time in my life. And it's a fun time, an exciting time. It really is just signifying to me a new stage in my life, a stage where I am stable, I get to go do all of these exciting things, things that I have thought about and planned for so many years are right here in front of me. And I don't at all think of myself as old or heading into a part of my life where I can't do and go. Um, I think of that part of my life as exciting. And this whole gray hair transformation, as crazy as it has been, underneath it all is exciting. And for the women who are out there watching that have not made the decision yet to go gray or haven't decided, you think you want to do it, but you haven't decided when or how or where, I just want to let you know that ahead of you is so much of life. And you have to just kind of take on a positive attitude and just think about how wonderful things are going to be ahead of you. We need to change the way that we think about age. We need to reverse the way that people look at gray hair and the way that people assume life when you're older is going to be. This needs to be the beginning of that conversation. So let me hear from you. If you have had a huge life change or a big life event that kind of spurred you on into your gray transition, let me know what that is. This could be a really interesting conversation. For me, it was my children leaving the house and quitting my job to start my own business. So I want to know what it is for you. But y'all, that's my take on life right now. That's what this gray hair means to me. It is a new beginning, a new chapter, a start of an exciting part of my life. So there it is. That's my big life thought for the day. That's what my gray hair means to me. So I'll see you later.